Oh, oh, hello there, friends of science, doctors, students, and of course, those of you of the higher order. I know you're watching. <laughs> Once again, my impeccable reputation will be put to a test before the entire scientific community. <laughs> those bone brains at the university who continue to criticize me shall eat the words they speak about me. They're saying that my experiments are nothing but monstrosities of idiotic proportions. <laughs> well, you, my dear friends, shall see where the word idiotic belongs. Right, Eric? Yes, Master. In fact, in just a moment, I am going to publicly unveil for the first time an ultra-high-tech scientific marvel that will solve the most menacing problem facing this nation today. Crime. <laughs> With a big C. That's right, my friends. Crime. That billion-dollar industry that's mugging this country from Walla Walla to Wall Street. <laughs> and only science has the solution, not those forever promising political bobos. <laughs> With my capable assistant, Chop. Where is that capable, incompetent? Chopling. Sleeping again. Get up there. Turn on the cameras. Hurry up. Uh, give us just a minute, folks. I got to teach uh, something to Chopsley. Look, you. When I tell you to get up, you get up, okay? Just at the dramatic moment when I point to the machine like this, that's when you pull the cloth off, okay? Oh, <laughs> hi there, friends. I was just giving Chopsley some instructions. Now listen, uh, I know some of you doctors of criminology out there must be wondering, well, how in the world can science solve the problem of crime? <laughs> Get your notebooks ready, my friends. I know it's a fact that through science technology, we have improved the jails, we have improved the police equipment, we have improved the security systems. But come on, tell me. Has anyone thought about improving the criminal? <laughs> That's where the problem is. And where is the problem in the criminal? <laughs> right here, in the brain. <laughs> you see, my friends, prisons are basically full of very decent, lovable human beings. It's their irrational brain that gets them into trouble. Why is it that one man will turn the other cheek and the other man will punch you right in that cheek. <laughs> That's because the rational brain will think beyond the action he causes. <laughs> the irrational brain will think only up to the action he causes. <laughs> I want you to step over here and I'll show you my drawing. All right. Oh, well. Chopsley, I told you to fix that thing, you idiot. Always cause. Oh, yes. Anyway, as you can see, the human brain weighs only 2% of the entire weight of the body. 2% of the weight of the body is the brain. Yet, the brain consumes 25% of the body's oxygen that we take in. <laughs> see, the problem is the criminal brain is not using a full amount of oxygen. And the less amount of oxygen that reaches the brain cells, the greater irrational action takes place. In other words, we can increase the amount of oxygen that enters the brain and create a rational human being, an individual that can get out and not create social disorder. <laughs> what I'm saying is we can actually empty the jailhouses. <laughs> and how? That's where this baby comes in. <laughs> That's your cue, Chopsley. Oh, all right, I didn't point. Take it off. Oh, that's Chopsley. Here it is, my friends. I know you want to take some pictures here if you have a video. This is the oxygenizing stimulator. <laughs> stimulator. You see, this brain of ours works very funny. It absorbs all this oxygen, and if the circulation of the blood isn't right, you don't get enough oxygen in the brain. And this stimulator creates an excitement, let's call it, in the brain, and draws the blood, which brings the oxygen, and creates the rational human being. <laughs> and that's what we have here. Now, I know some of you are probably already saying, all right, you're going to need a pretty good specimen to prove it to me. 
Well, listen, I want you to kind of keep this down. I have some political connections with uh, one of the big prisons. <laughs> I can't say the name, but uh, you're going to see something tonight. Hold your seats. <laughs> see, now when I, oh no, no amount of oxygen would help you. Hello, you just stand by and help me, okay. Oh, hi friends. We're just making a few adjustments here. Now, as I explained before, we want to make everybody rational. And that way our society will, of course, be safe. Safe from harm, we can empty the prisons. And that's what we're going to do tonight. And of course, you know, I mentioned that uh, I do have a little political connection with uh, the warden. <laughs> of course, I can't mention the prison, but, uh, oh, I heard a knock here. Hold on for just a second. You look busy, Chopsley. All right. Oh, warden. <laughs> oh. There's no cameras on around here, is there? Camera? Cameras. Oh, oh, cameras, no. Oh, no, we don't have any cameras. We don't own any Come on, cameras. guys. Come on. Oh, yeah, bring him in. Oh, Come yeah. On. Get over there. Get right there. Well. All right, here he is. Well. Now, don't let me down on this. Remember, my political life is hanging here. Oh, yeah, oh, don't worry about your political life. Oh, warden, listen. When this thing is over tonight, they're going to be keeping the governor's chair warm for you. Yeah. <laughs> well, let me tell you, you messed this up. They're going to be keeping a hotter chair for you. The same one he's going to get next Tuesday. What do you mean, chair? What did he do? Six murders. Murders? Murders. I told you I wanted a mugger, not a murderer. Six murders? Yeah, and all doctors. All doctors? All doctors. Oh, oh well, uh, you didn't tell him I was a doctor, did you? I mean, hey, you know who this guy is, don't you? No, who? This is Quickway Williams. The Quickway Williams? The Quickway Williams. Oh, well, uh... Hey, wait I a minute. You can handle this, can't you? Uh, oh, yeah, sure, oh, Warden. Oh, All right. Oh. I'm going to be back in two hours to get him. Don't you mess it up. And watch this guy. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, don't worry. <laughs> That's it. He's going to be a pussycat when you come back. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, Quickway Williams. <laughs> well, you're a lucky guy, Quickway. Let me tell you something. I guess they told you who I was, huh? <laughs> I'm the guy that's your ticket to freedom. <laughs> that's right. I'm an experimentalist, you see. I want you to look at something. See this little machine over here? All I'm going to do is a little test on you to see how much oxygen runs through your body. Doesn't hurt, right? <laughs> and then I'm going to make a little adjustment and make you like the rest of us here, and you can go a free man. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> Let me get this straight. All you want me to do is get into that machine. That's right. And you are going <laughs> to fix me. And That's right. And I'm going to go away free forever? That's what I said. <laughs> I think I died and went to heaven. Come on, let's get the machine. Get over here. I want to show you something. <laughs> All right, friends, I want you to keep an eye on this. All I'm going to do is a little test on you. I just want to see how much oxygen is running around up here. Just trust me. Just free, trust free. me. All right, we're going to put this on your head. Now, I'm putting this right next to the cranium, and we're taking measurements. We're going to throw a few switches here, and we're going to show you. We're going to show you what kind of a monkey we have here. All right, Chopsley, get ready. First, we put the machine on here, and then we throw it and see what's... All right, there we go. Keep your eyes up there. There you go. It's rising already, you see? Now, now, what do we have? Okay, we got about... Well, it's stopping on about 6%. 6% oxygen reaching that monkey's brain. <laughs> All right, take it off. You didn't hear what I was saying, did you? No, of course not. All right, why don't you step out here quick, wait. Now, uh, Chopsley, uh, get the gun. Take the bullets out. Uh, we're going to try something. I want to show you something maybe you haven't seen in a little while. Like I told you, I've got a few surprises for you here. To... Oh, there it is. Did you take it out? Yeah, make sure. Okay, all right. <clears throat> yeah, you ever seen anything, ever seen anything like this before? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I did. You know what that is, huh? <laughs> yeah. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to put that right there. What would you do with that? <laughs> what would I do? That's easy. Uh, all right, all right, all right, all right. Put it back, Charlie. Put it back. All right. As you can see, my friends, we got a real bad hombre here. <laughs> okay, put the thing back. Charlie, that's your cue to put the thing on his head. 
Oh, I tell you, how could you be around me so much and know so little? Get out of the way. All right, now, now here we go. We're going to throw it on, and we're going to dial it up, put up 25% of the oxygen into the brain. There it goes. All right, look at that. Uh-oh, well, it didn't quite make 25%. However, that's enough. Let's cut it off. All right. This won't last very long, but he'll be all right. He'll be like the rest of us. Okay, quick way. How do you feel? Pretty good. Feel pretty good? Pretty good. <laughs> Let's get our boy a drink. Get him a drink. Yeah, I'll give him a drink. Give him a drink, Charlie. <laughs> you see, my friends, I reward. It's just like a pussy cat or a dog. You reward him, right? Fix him up a little drink, Charlie. All right, we're going to give you a little drink here, quick way. I'll show you. I told you you got a quick way out of here. <laughs> <laughs> hey, by the way, why do they call you quick way? Easy. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> Have a little drink, <laughs> What do you think? This is milk. What do you think? You drink it. Hey, wait a minute. Get him back in there. Oh. Well, I, I, uh, I kind of underestimated the, uh, the amount he needed. So uh, I tell you what, this is going to work now. As you can see, something was taking place. So uh, all right, now we're going to put this back on. And this time, you better cooperate. Just keep in mind that I am your ticket to freedom, okay? All right. I'm throw it on and turn it up. <laughs> it's not going to read very much. No, just as I thought. Kick it up now. Here we go. In fact, what I'll probably do is kick it all the way up to 50. Yeah, all right. It's getting up there. <laughs> That's it. That's enough. Okay, cut it off. <laughs> I think, I think we have a rational human being here. Oh, oh hello. <laughs> Hi. Oh, I, I feel so wonderful. <laughs> I think I'll call you Mr. Williams. Oh, thank you, sir. <laughs> thank you. And thank you. <laughs> oh, you see what I have here? Already I have a rational human being. And that's what we can do all over the country. Now listen, Chopley. Oh, you have the keys to this? Oh. <laughs> you see, the warden didn't leave the keys. Eh? I'll tell you what we're going to do. We're going to give him a surprise. You get those cutters over there and cut these things off of him. This guy's okay, all right? And then bring him over here. Hurry up. I guess I can take a moment here to explain to you. Uh, oh, Chopsley, is this gun loaded? Oh, all right. I want to make a little test. Now, what we have here is the possibility of taking this machine to all the prisons in the country and releasing all these beautiful, decent human beings. All we're going to do is make their brains change from irrational to rational. Oh. Oh, here he is. <laughs> All right, Charlie, quit picking on him. Uh, you really can't make people like this angry. <laughs> you don't mind that, do you? Oh, not at all. You don't all, mind sir. if I shake you? Oh, no, sir. Not at all. I'm I'll so tell you. You don't mind. All right, I'm going to put you to a little test then. Oh. Guess what? What? <laughs> I am a doctor. Oh, you're a doctor. <laughs> That's right. I am a doctor. <laughs> now get to work. Charlie, put him to work over there. You see, friends, once a person is rational, they won't do anything irrational because the oxygen in their brains is such that, well, it allows them to think, to think clearly and to not... I hate doctors! Oh, hey, Charlie, get... Hurry up, we're going to have to put the diode in his brain. Chopsley! You're we'll... going to put what in my brain? A diode. No, you ain't. Wait a minute. <laughs> That's good, Chopsley. <laughs> oh, hi, friends. Looks like I was winged a little bit when he shot at me, but he didn't hurt me. <laughs> Besides, I've got him pretty well sedated here. He's at 50% oxygen. <laughs> and I think we can cut it off, Chopsley. Bring him over to the blackboard. Get ready for the diode implant. Okay, Williams, how do you feel? Wonderful. Uh, step over here. You're going to feel better in one minute. By the way, surgeons, we're going to do a little brain job here in one minute. We're going to put a little diode implant into his brain. This is not going to hurt. Now, don't get, don't get excited. We have a little implant going into the brain there. It only goes in about one inch, okay? And there's a little antenna there that's going to be excited when the radio waves hit it. Keeps your brain kind of stirred up, causes, causes the blood to kind of circulate and brings the oxygen in. So You're going to look like the rest of us. <laughs> All right. Just sit right here. Very good. Chopsley, we got to get him to sleep. 
Now, we don't want to put him totally under, so we're just going to hypnotize him. Otherwise, it would cause brain damage. And besides, we need his cooperation. I'm going to hypnotize you. You're going to go out in 10 seconds, just like this. The old trick always works. One, two, keep your eye on the watch. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. You are asleep. <laughs> are you sleeping? No. Oh, all right. Get the heavy stuff, Shoffley, the anesthesia. Shoffley. Oh, you idiot. Keep your eye off the watch. Every time I do this, he falls asleep. Okay. What we're going to do is put this little drill guide here. <laughs> that ought to be chopped. <coughs> All right, he's, fall he's fallen down. Here's a little drill guide. It's called a drill jig. Now, hold it straight there, Chopsley. We're going to take this little bit. It looks just like a normal bracing bit, but it's a surgical bracing bit. And we're going to put a 3 8 hole right into his skull here. Hold it steady, Chopsley. I'm going to turn slowly. Oh, wait a minute. Hold that. Hold that a second before I turn it. Hold this. That's it. This has to be done in one minute. All right. We'll turn that on. We've got one minute in which to do this whole operation. Okay, quickly. Hold it steady. You got the jig? All right. Now it's going in. Now it's going down. What did you do, Chopsley? All right. Hold, hold everything. Back him up. Back him up. Back him up. Okay, quickly. Spray him again, quickly. I know it hurts a little bit, but I know it hurts. Just, just stay right there. That's enough. That's enough. That's enough. That's enough. That's enough. Okay. All right, come hold the jig. Hold the jig right there. All right, I'll back it out. Okay. Well, now we can remove it. Okay, take it off, Shoffley. Oh, oh, that looks pretty good. That's a clean one. <laughs> now we can put the little diode right down in there. Okay, it just fits in quickly here. Oh, yeah, it's going right in. Okay. All right, you just hold it right there for me while I get the tape. And we're going to stop the blood from coming out here. All right, that's a simple operation. All right, push this tape down. That's perfect. Okay, move your hand, Chopsley. Now we got it. Okay, <laughs> perfect. Well, now you got something here. All we need to do now is wait for Williams here to wake up in about a minute or two. We're going to turn on the transmitter, and of course it's going to excite the convolutions of the brain, and this way it will keep his brain active and pumping oxygen, and we can put him right out on the street. It's working beautifully. It's transmitting <laughs> alpha waves. Well, oh, hi, friends. As you can see, uh, Williams here is in good shape. The alpha waves are working. The transmitter is turned on and the diode is doing its job. He's a totally rational, beautiful individual. He will not have to go back to a prison tonight if I have anything to do with it. All right, Williams, hold it for a minute. How do you feel? Oh, I feel wonderful, but <laughs> I'm a little dry. May I have a glass of milk, please? Oh, milk. <laughs> he wants milk. Give me some milk, Chopsley. <laughs> now we got something here. You sure you wouldn't like a, a little bourbon or a little... Oh, gracious, no, I, I don't drink. Oh, all right, have some milk here. Thank you. Oh, boy, we got a winner here. We've got it. All right. Now, look, step over here. I got some surprises for you, Williams. <laughs> now, look, I'm going to give you a little gun. It's loaded, but oh. look. Oh, no, I know you'd be a little frightened. It's a gun, and uh, I know you don't know how to use this. I wouldn't want to. <laughs> gracious, I, I don't think I'd like to have anything to do with a gun. Well, look, I tell you, why don't you hide it? Because, uh, you see, I want you to take it back to the warden tonight. Okay. Just put it inside. <laughs> All right. Now, step over here. I'm going to cover up. Uh, oh, here we go. i got to cover up these numbers. You see, we don't want you out on the street looking like a criminal <laughs> because you are no longer a criminal. Oh, you have number. Oh, yeah, you got numbers on the back, too. What we're going to do is block that out. Boy, you have a long number there. I'm going to put a little piece of tape there. Yeah, see, if you walk on the bus, nobody will know. I better put, wait a minute, yeah. I'm going to write something on there like a bumper sticker. Uh, oh, I got it. <laughs> Mug crime. <laughs> That's what we're going to do. All right, Williams. Now, I've got to give you something you're going to be really surprised about. Here's a $20 bill. Oh. 
Thank you. And you know what that's for? That's bus fare. Oh. Yes. I want you to go straight to the warden's and turn yourself in. Okay. <laughs> yeah. All right. Let's go. Uh, all right. Oh, uh, Chosley, get that room out of here. We're just about through with that. All right, Williams. You know what to do. Just tell the warden that I said everything's okay, okay? <laughs> okay, so and thank you very much for everything. Oh, listen, I appreciate it, believe me. <laughs> we helped each other. <laughs> All right, now we got it. Well, things are gonna really change. Get that bucket off the floor, Chopsley. Now, things are really gonna change, folks. What? Just get it off the floor, I don't care where you put it. What we have here, friends, is a normal, rational human being. The transmitter is activating the diode in the brain. It's sending out radio waves. And this man is a rational, decent, beautiful human being. And we're going to do that all over the country.